When I think of environmental justice, I think of people living in a sustainable way that does not exploit nature or life on Earth. The average global temperature would be sustainable. I think of environmental justice as having an adequate amount of resources for all life on Earth to survive, and there would be no groups of people more privileged and better supplied based upon race, ethnicity, income, etc. Of course, this would not result in low-income minority people to bear the brunt of the injustices. Environmentalism and social justice are intertwined because of how they expose an obvious imbalance of power. This imbalance of power derives from income, race, and ethnicity. Factory farming is linked to environmental injustice given how the environment is subject to excessive pollution while the, po with, while the polluters are rich owners of factory farms who profit from the exploitation of the environment, the animals, and low-income residents of color. The low-income residents of color bear the brunt of the problem and face greater difficulty surviving while the rich executives become richer. Human society is not separate from nature. In fact, all life on Earth cannot survive without nature, and humans are just a part of nature rather than superior to it as they believe. With that being said, when nature is exploited, so is the whole ecosystem which all life needs to survive. Degradation of the environment is responsible for issues such as climate change and water scarcity. It impacts human society and mostly vulnerable groups of people in many ways, including their health, livelihoods, and quality of life. For example, the North Carolina hog farms pollute the air in an area with vulnerable groups of people as residents, while they don't cause the same harm elsewhere. Environmental degradation may even impact where people have to live. I believe this because sea level rise will force millions of people to move out of coastal areas. Degradation of the environment also greatly reduces the avail availability of necessary resources such as food and water, which makes it harder for these resources to be accessed particularly by poor people. Everyone will suffer in some way, but Poor people of color are inevitably going to suffer the most. 